It is Saturday morning. Um, so making breakfast. Um, doing something a little different, so I thought I'd vlog it. Um, I make a high protein oatmeal. Uh, so you just basically prepare your oatmeal. Um, I do a half a cup of dry quick oats. Uh, in this one you can use rolled oats, it just depends on how um, the consistency you like your oatmeal. Uh, sometimes I'll do partial um, quick and part um, rolled oats and it kind of just gives a little bit of texture. Uh, so I do a half a cup of that and then I do a cup, or sorry, uh, three quarters of a cup of um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then uh, I do a packet of Truvia and I put apple pie spice and I'm just cooking it um, until it's pretty much almost done. And then I let it cool for just a little bit so it's not screeching hot because sometimes that changes the, um, changes the, I guess, the molecular structure of the protein powder. It, um, it makes it kind of gelatinous if the protein powder gets too hot. So, unless you want protein boogers through your oatmeal, I would say avoid the gelatinousness and <clears throat> let your oatmeal cool a little bit. So, I get my little pot. There's oatmeal in there. So it's kind of nice and thick at this point. It's okay if it's a little bit thick because you're going to stir some stuff into it that's going to thin it out. So being that this is a high protein oatmeal, now we need to add protein. So we're going to add... Um, I get the liquid egg whites. They are pasteurized, so it's okay to use them for shakes and raw, uncooked. Um, a quarter of a cup, um, uh, a quarter of a cup has about like six grams of protein. So a cup of, uh, of egg whites equals about 24 grams of protein, which is usually a typical um, portion of a scoop of protein powder. So it's like cup to cup. So I want probably around 24 grams of protein my, um, this morning. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to stir the, a quarter of a cup of the egg whites raw into my, into my oatmeal. So that'll thin it out a little bit and make it so the protein powder will sit better in there. Um, cause it'll have some liquid to stir into. So I just dumped a quarter of a cup of egg whites into my oatmeal. And then I'm going to do I'm going to do chocolate protein powder because I'm of the opinion that adding chocolate to anything pretty much makes it amazing. So, um, I just currently got this brand from my naturopath. Um, it's a uh, gluten and dairy free protein. Um, I'm excited to try it because it's chocolate because the other one was like this weird orange vanilla flavor that you kind of get accustomed to but it doesn't really taste like anything enough to want to stir it into something else like it, you just kind of want to only drink it as a protein shake by itself so I'm excited that this is chocolate um, calories is 145 calories and um, you're getting 23 grams of protein in, um, in a serving and a serving is two scoops so um, being the size of the scoop and being the size of my bowl of oatmeal, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do um, a quarter of the serving as protein powder in my oatmeal, and then I'm going to actually do the other two thirds of this serving. Oops, I made a mess. Uh, the other two thirds of the serving as a shake um, on the side. So I'll have my protein, high protein oatmeal, and then I'll also have um, a little protein shake on the side. Um, to make up for the remainder of the serving that I'm not actually getting in my oatmeal. And I'll stir that up. I'm wearing my hat this morning because I haven't taken a shower yet, so my hair is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Alright, so we're stirring this around, see what happens. That's oatmeal. So you just kind of stir it around, let it mix together. That's looking pretty good. So now we officially have chocolate oatmeal. Um, 
because I'm also a big fan of having things that are very chocolatey, <laughs> I'm also going to add some cocoa powder. Um, I use Hershey's Cocoa Special Dark Powder like it's going out of style. I love this stuff. And the reason I love it so much is because I'm a big chocoholic and a tablespoon of this is only 10 calories and, um, and there's only um, 3 grams of carbohydrates. Two of those grams are fiber. So we're going to get like a gram of carbs. So I'll add this to my yogurt at night um, and make myself like a chocolatey treat. Um, and you could add like 2 or 3 uh, two or three scoops of it and make it like a real dark dark chocolate sauce with a little bit of hot water and some Truvia and you stir that all together and it makes like this like chocolatey syrupy I mean depending on how much water you add uh, you want to definitely use hot water though because it um, it will kind of it softens the the cocoa so it stirs up real good um, and you can use that sauce to do anything with it. Like you can put it on top, drizzle it on top of your Greek yogurt. You can um, just eat it because it's chocolate. Um, or be creative, drizzle it on top of your oatmeal even. Or pancakes. Oh, that would be really good. Or the French toast recipe. You could take make your little chocolate sauce stuff and then like make your French toast. You could drizzle that on top. Holy crap, that's definitely breakfast tomorrow. All right, well maybe we'll blog that one. <laughs> all right so that's it for mama bear this morning i'm going to add some cocoa to my oatmeal um and make this a chocolatey deliciousness for the morning um and take my vitamins that's basically my morning oh yeah and i laid out all my vitamins so you guys could see but uh this morning i'm taking cla i'm taking a fat burner um and i'm taking glucosamine chondroitin i'm taking my um acidophilus which is uh, the probiotic. Um, and then I'm doing a shot of 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C in my little mug. Um, I get the emergency stuff. That's my favorite flavor, cranberry pomegranate, hands down. Um, and my naturopath talked me into taking um, my fish oils uh, as a liquid as opposed to a capsule. And um, she suggested that I switch to just doing omega threes because I was asking her, you know, as I get leaner for competition, you know, how should I maybe compensate for the lack of body fat with maybe um, some vitamins and stuff to make sure that I, you know, I want to make sure my body's as healthy as possible because it's obviously not very healthy to get below a certain amount of body fat. So just because your body has it's that's your resources. So, um, so she switched me onto this stuff. Arctic cod liver oil. Doesn't that sound yummy? And it says delicious. Oh, great lemon taste. That's what it says up top there. They lie. It tastes like dead fishes. But if you chase it, because uh, cause we all know how to take a shot and chase it. <laughs> this is a health shot. Okay, so if you take a shot of your cod liver oil... And I'm doing three times the dose because that makes me feel badass. But no, it's um, just because because I'm getting leaner. It's better to, my, I've, I have more energy and power and, and stuff in the gym. It also helps with like hunger satiation and, and just general energy. Because um, it, it's like nutrients for your body. It's like, a, it's a healthy fat. Um, so what I do is I'm going to take the shot of cod liver oil. Yeah, I'm going to do this on camera. This is going to be awesome. And then I'm going to pound down my emergency afterwards because otherwise I think I might, I might gag. We'll see what happens. All right, you ready? Doing it live. Cod liver oil shot. Heck yeah. Ugh. It smells like lemons, but it doesn't actually taste like lemons. It's not lemony at all, actually. Okay. Okay, that was way better than yesterday when I didn't have a chaser. I didn't have a chaser yesterday. My entire mouth, like, had, like, this vapor of fish. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to pound my vitamins. So, 
I take a lot of vitamins, and so I've um, become accustomed to taking all my vitamins in one whack. So instead of sitting here and going one at a time and swallow one at a time and swallow, I just go all of these, which there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine pills in here. Um, I just go get it done. So here's my here's my uh, my challenge right there. Okay, my water. Boop. See this? I have no problem with fish oil. Not my favorite. All right, here we go. That's how it's done. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right. I'm gonna eat my oatmeal. You wanna see it? It looks like chocolate. Goop. Good stuff. That's oatmeal. Sorry, I'm not plating it out to make it look all pretty and stuff, but I'm just gonna actually eat the crap out of it. So, um, I might actually throw some strawberries on top too and just a little bit of sugar free maple syrup on there. Maybe uh, put a little bit of almond milk. Good to go. Maybe a little bit more struvia. Good taste it. Excuse me. Woo. Vitamins are fighting back. Um, vitamins, fight back. It's like Empire Strikes Back, but with vitamins. Um,. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, have a fantastic Saturday, and I guess that's the Mama Bear blog for today. Um, or, well, for this morning. Who knows? I might get inspired later. All right, peace out.